Chad for the pizza, AJ for the movie, Jenny for the soda. All these people owe me money for all this overpriced stuff I'm paying for in San Francisco. If only I had a decentralized way of being able to send money to each other so I can have all our transactions nice and reliably recorded on a blockchain. Guys, in this episode of Blockheads, we're going to create Dcash, a decentralized Venmo in a way, to be able to send each other transactions using the wonderful world of cryptocurrency. So sit tight and let's have some fun. Hey everyone, here we have the Figma layout I have for Dcash, a decentralized Venmo essentially. Uh, when for users first open the application, they're going to be prompted with this please login message to prompt the user to log into their near account if they have done so already. Uh, after that, here's the tool that the, that the uh, user will be able to use to send money to their friends or whoever they want. So have the recipient, the amount, it's a memo. The memo is going to require some sort of text so that the user will be sure to have a record of their previous transactions. And all the memos will be listed right here as well as their near amounts that they've sent in the past so the users can know what they've sent in the past. Um, again, for their records. And that's essentially it. Right. Here, um, I have the nav bar all nice and done. So now it's actually time to build out my money tool. I have a placeholder right here. So let's just, you know, dive right in and get started with that. So first thing I'm gonna do is like add a card. Something happened. Yeah, look at that. Happens. This. I think this is a self closing tag. Okay, there we go. Okay, so form group, form group. Let's see, and then keep going, keep going. You know, I'm like hungry, so that's like go hit the, you know, let's get some in and out, bruh. I always play this game with my friends. You know, try to guess each other's slang. My friends from the UK have their own version of slang. I mean, honestly, I think that tool looks pretty good, right? Like, I don't really think it needs to be much more than that. So, yeah, you have a functioning, like, you know, little tool here. Okay, so I wired this puppy up. I have some really cool functions that I want to show you guys real quick. Add memo, adds memo to the blockchain from the application. Also adds how much the user is paid, who they paid out to, so they can see it all right in here. So this is the transfer in your tokens function. So this is the actual like thing that sends the money, money view methods. So we have our get memos, so we can save memos, we can get memos. It's probably important to be able to see what we've written in the past and see our information. So that's all there really is to it. So now it's all rebuilt, we can restart it and test it out. Awesome, example account. One, two, three, four, five. Try to send that three near tokens and say, sending you te money. Oh, sent. Let's see, wallet.testnet.near.org. You can see that the transfer new tokens has been called. So it says success. Can I view this and explore? Cause of value transaction fee. Cool, so it looks like it all succeeded. Um, and you can even see the amount of near sent to this account. So, I mean, yeah, that's awesome. It works. <laughs> I mean, that's, and that's all there is to it. So, uh, it actually builds up the transactions page. Let's see if it actually appears here. Uh, awesome. Yeah. So you can see, sent you the money to example account, uh, four, three. So I should also put four, three, then probably put like another note saying, uh, near tokens, near, near. Awesome. Rebuilt that. But I mean, other than that, that's that's it. It actually works. We have a cool decentralized Venmo application. Transactions, back to here. Login feature works. Simple, beautiful application. Pretty proud of this one, guys. Yeah, thanks.